This is Twit. So when, I, when the AirPods came out, a lot of people were thinking, this is an interesting idea. This is a wireless earbud. Uh, anything in your ear can do your heart rate. Apple didn't turn this feature on, but it can do it. It can do the heart rate, can do VO2 max. And everybody kind of thought this might be, besides wearing goggles, a new kind of augmented reality. And so I want to talk a little bit about this because there's a new product that maybe lives a little bit up to this promise. And uh, this is our product we're going to review today. This is from a company called New Hira. And they call them IQ Buds. They actually have two different kinds of IQ Buds, a 299 version and then the IQ Buds with Boost. We'll talk about the Boost. Should tell you right up front, $4.99. But before you choke, I want to show you these. These are hearing aids. In fact, these are my hearing aids, which I got when Lisa finally said, you've got to stop saying what. I can't. You've got to listen to me. No more what. And uh, so I went out, and now these are really expensive. List price is $6,000. These are Starkeys. Oh. They pair with my iPhone. That doesn't include the several visits to the audiologist to get your hearing tested, the repeat visits to get it tuned up. These are expensive devices, things that you would really be loath to lose, but they can be a lifesaver for people because suddenly you can hear what people are saying. I like these Starkeys. I got them because a friend uses them, and he says the neat thing is these pair with your iPhone. The iPhone has great assistive technologies for hearing aids. In fact, the newest version uh, of iOS is going to let you pipe sound from the iPhone's microphone into the hearing aid. So you could put the mic, if you're at a talk, you could put the microphone, or put it next to the TV and hear better. These also will play back audio from the iPhone in addition to the room audio so I can listen to music, I can listen to audio books. And by the way, since they're on hearing aids, no one knows. They think I'm paying attention to them. And if I talk to you, you could still hear me? They think I'm paying attention to them. <laughs> and uh, I'm not. I never think you're paying attention to me. So anyway, let record. me talk some more. <laughs> No, I listen. I listen. I hear. I hear. Uh, but one of the reasons I wear hearing aids is because as somebody who's worked in broadcasting for years, I've always worn headphones and, ear, and earpieces, and you listen too loud, and then you have to turn them up, and then you listen louder, and then you slowly, it's a vicious cycle, degrade your hearing. So uh, there are, but, but I think that this is the last set of $6,000 hearing aids anybody will ever have to purchase. <laughs> Honestly, because we're starting to see much lower cost. Now when I say this is $500, that doesn't sound so bad. No, it? it doesn't. We're starting no. to see lower cost devices. Now, something that disappointed me about the hearing aids, I thought, oh, I'll hear music, it'll sound wonderful, or I'll be able to, you know, hear all the sound that's around me. No, hearing aids are tuned for the human voice. All that's amplified is the f really narrow frequency of the human voice. In fact, music sounds worse. Mm -hmm. Other stuff sounds worse because it's amplifying a certain part of that frequency and so it's over amplified the mid-range and less of the so it's it's actually a little bit of a disappointment these are i have reviewed these before these are the jabras the jabra elites these are their sport elites and i bring these out because you may see a certain similarity between these and these are the new heroes both come like the airpods in a battery case so they have a charge but the case can then charge them once you remove them from the case you, the new heroes actually last quite a long time there's one of the things i like about them uh they're uh they're supposed to be eight hours for hearing enhancement and if you're watching bluetooth or listening to bluetooth music five hours that's a really good long time but but there's a real similarity here you see these are the jabras they have a big base, that's where the battery is, and they have an ear piece that is designed to fit your ear as exactly as possible. And that's really important. Both the Jabras and the New Heras come with multiple tips. Let me show you the tips that came with the uh, New Heras. They they? Yeah, they're, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, because my I have very weirdly shaped ears. Right. The AirPods fall right out. I have right. to have the ones that hook all the way over my it's ears. It's a little frustrating that Apple doesn't have uh, multiple sizes for their yeah, AirPods. It really, and I've tried to stick things on them, like little band-aids, and then you can't, they don't fit in the charging case anymore. Lisa it's won't use the AirPods because they hurt. Yeah. She has a small ear canal. I have a giant ear canal. So usually when I, so this is what, uh, what the new heroes come with. They come with all of these different tips. In fact, they come with more than this. They also have some silicone uh, soft tips, that, you, that foam tips that you can fit in. That's the ones I'm using on these. So that you could squish them. The point is you want to get a really good seal. Now that's not how hearing aids work. Hearing aids, in fact, are designed to let you hear what's going on outside as well. It's kind of a mix. You see the hearing aid doesn't seal into the ear at all. 
It just has a little tiny tip that goes in your ear. It's like a little loudspeaker in your ear. And so the rest of the ear goes around it. One of the problems people have with hearing aids is there's a kind of uh, an echo sound because you get the amplified sound of your voice slightly, a few milliseconds after you get the sound of your voice coming through the air. That's a weird thing you get used to with hearing aids. It's exactly the same thing that happened to me with the new Hearas. Mm. So what does this do? So these are excellent, by the way, very good, high fidelity earbuds, much like the Jabra Elite. Really good bass, if you, once you get the tip that really fits in, the bass is excellent on this. And it does cut out all the ambient sound, and you want to do that. They actually want you to, to keep trying um, ear tips until you find one that really seals. What's interesting about this is they then you run through on the app a hearing test. So it's almost identical to the hearing test the audiologist will run through. Left and right ear, a variety of tones. You tap a button on the screen to say, yeah, I heard that. If you don't hear it, then they go, okay. And it forms a curve for your hearing that actually shows where you have uh, deficits in your hearing. Its calibration then will adjust the music so that it compensates for loss of hearing in certain frequencies. Mm -hmm. That means music sounds better on these than almost anything else. It, there is a similarity to this, and I've mentioned this before, the Samsung phones also have an adaptable sound capability. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S9 or a Galaxy Note, a Galaxy S8, I think they started doing it with the S6, you can it, dig deep down in the menus and do the adaptive hearing. It'll do almost exactly the same audio test. And from then on, the phone, if you use the headphones, sounds really good. Mm. This does the same thing. So that's one advantage. The other thing this does is it's got little buttons on here that you can tap. The jobbers do that as well. You can connect with Siri, uh, which is kind of nice. You can issue commands, uh, or if you're on an Android device, Google Assistant, or I guess Samsung's Bixby. So that's kind of nice. It also allows you to hear the world around you. Now this is, I think, a really nice feature. If you are a runner, mm -hmm. which you are, right? Mm -hmm. You know you don't want to wear ceiling headphones because you won't hear traffic, you won't hear noise, you won't hear bicycles ringing their bells. It's dangerous, right, right? to be out on the street when you're not hearing the world around you. A t single tap to the right ear on these new hearers will allow you to hear the world around you. And that's basically their hearing aid mode. So if somebody's talking to you and you don't have music playing, you can stop the music if you want. You hear them much better. It's enhanced. So it is now a hearing aid. That's really interesting. And much like the Starkeys, you can program in different levels, different EQs for different situations. When you're on an airplane, there's some stuff you want to hear, some stuff you don't want to hear. This will do that. When you're in a restaurant, there's a lot of background noise. Like the $6,000 hearing aids, these new hearers will adjust and you can have a variety of different locations and you can use your smartphone to adjust that. I, here's my phone. So you can have your smartphone to adjust that. I really like that. You can even tap them to change uh, what uh, audio compensation you're getting. In it, say, oh, I'm now in a restaurant. Oh, I'm now in, uh, you know, my house, which is very different. I really like that. So there's a new focus feature, which use this is a firmware update we got yesterday, which uses the dual microphones because these are also, you know, they have a mic. You can also use them as Bluetooth headphone, a Bluetooth uh, device for your phone. It will use the dual microphones to suppress sound from behind you and increase sound in front of you. This is a very sophisticated DSP technology that yes, the $6,000 hearing aids supposedly do. Uh, I never really noticed that, but they supposedly will adjust so that you hear whoever's talking and it'll back. If you think about it, I'm in a noisy environment. We're at a restaurant. I want to hear you better. I want to hear this less well. Mm -hmm. And that's what the new hearers uh, claim they'll do. I wasn't able to, since we only came out yesterday, I wasn't able to test it thoroughly. But I know that that happens in the, in the hearing aid, so I, I'm going to trust it. They have very low latency streaming so that you can use this with a Bluetooth enabled TV like your hearing aids. These are very, what I'm really seeing here is a lot of the stuff that uh, companies like Starkey and Resound sell as high-tech capabilities in their hearing aids are now making it to essentially uh, consumer-grade earbuds. I mean, 
expensive, but $500 is still a lot less. Especially if you were thinking of, oh, I need a pair of noise canceling headphones, I need a pair of sealed headphones, and then this other does headphones. It all. Yeah. And in fact, the set, the audio, if you turn off the back, you know, the, the ambient sound and just listen to the audio, the audio is excellent. I really enjoyed listening to music. Again, you're going to want to try all the tips. That's kind of a pain in the butt. But once you get the right tips, the right size, I found that the biggest ones, and I like the, the ones that are a little squishy, really did the best job for me. Let me show you what they look like, just so you know, in the ear. I'll put the left one in my uh, ear here. I'm wearing here. Uh, oh, it's reading me a book. <laughs> It's already connected it's to your already phone. Well, that's the nice thing when yeah. it pairs to the phone. So that's... It. Now, the other thing about hearing aids is they're invisible. They're designed to be invisible. There's a battery that goes over the back of the ear, a little wire, and the, and the hearing aid goes into the ear like that. These are... You look like you're wearing earbuds. Uh, and as a result, people might think you're being inattentive. If I, if oh, I yeah. did this and, you know, said, Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? But if I tap this... Now I'm hearing you, I'm yeah. hearing myself. Now there's a couple of things I wanna mention that people who wear hearing aids will recognize. You do get the chorus effect because I'm hearing my voice through my bones in my body as well as the voice that's amplified through the hearing aid. So when you talk, it does sound a little bit like there's, it's hard to describe, I use the word chorus, it sounds like there's two of you very closely together. But if you talk, go ahead, speak to me. I actually like them a lot better than the AirPods for the look. Yeah, I think they don't look as bad as the AirPods, and I can hear you better. Mm. Let me pause the, the audio book. Actually, I just tap this once, <laughs> and it'll stop. Um, now I'm, they really sound like hearing aids to me. I'm hearing the world around me amplified through the microphones on this, and I think that it's, it actually works pretty well. Uh, the one problem people often have, and I had when I first got hearing aids, is I heard sounds that I'd never heard before. You might oh. have this experience. It sounded like the carpet was really loud when I, when I walked across it. Rustling clothes, all of a sudden I was hearing, because I hadn't heard it in oh. years. That you get used to. There may be some of that, I don't know, because uh, you know, I'm used to it now. So I didn't have any learning curve with these. But I should warn you that if you're, if you're getting these, you may have this. Are these a replacement for hearing aids? That's an interesting question. An audiologist would probably say no, but of course their living depends on giving you tests and selling you expensive hardware. Uh, I think that this is not probably as complete a test as an audiologist would give you, uh, but, and of course they can't check your ears, the test is all done through software. But if you're looking for, here's who this is for. If you're looking for great sounding earbuds, as good as the Jabra Elites, which are half the price, you're going to spend twice as much. And you would like the ability to hear ambient sound, maybe as a runner, or maybe because you're having a little trouble hearing the TV or hearing your spouse talk. This might be an interesting choice, certainly a lot less uh, than um, hearing aids. But on the other hand, uh, battery life is not as good. My hearing aids will go for days because they use zinc ox oxygen batteries. Uh, in fact, weeks uh, in between uh, replacements. Uh, but you do have to replace the battery. These are rechargeable. Uh, these might help you listen. Notice they have older people with, <laughs> with these. I think they're really selling this to somebody who might not really need a hearing aid yet, but might want something a little bit better. It's an interesting market. Uh, I just switched into driving mode, by the way. Oh. Yeah, by accident, I tapped it. Uh, <laughs> but what happened is the background noise level went way down because that would be the road sound, the noise of the wheels and stuff like that. I think it's, a, I think it's really interesting. Am I recommending them? Probably not. Probably you'd be better off getting a pair of Jabras and using the playthrough capability of the iPhone. That would give you a lot of the same features without the hearing test, and it would cost you a lot less. On the other hand, these are excellent sounding earbuds. If you're about to buy earbuds and you maybe would like to have that playthrough sound, the hearing test be built in, the new focus feature, um, I think it's pretty impressive. They do sell for $299, as I mentioned, the IQ Buds. What they don't have is the boost without uh, they they they're the same as the boost but they don't have the ear id the sound test mm. they don't offer the memory foam tips and they don't do the low latency streaming for tv so uh, i c probably would not recommend those i think that these these oops i just turned the world off i love that feature by the way <laughs> i really do love that feature they could turn the world on or off it was great yeah world off it says <laughs> Now driving, I'm now driving. Uh, these, I would say the Jabras or similar, less expensive ceiling headphones are really good choice. You shouldn't run with those Jabras. You'd have mm -hmm. to take one out so right. you can hear the background noise. Um, they don't fall out. 
I know you didn't like the Apple AirPods because yeah. they fell out. The good seals that you get from these, no you can't make them fall out. What kind of out. dancing you do. Yeah. They really are in good. I don't know. I think this is in a great look. Not for for day to day walking around. Well, I would time. definitely think you were ignoring me if I. Saw yeah, that. because you think I'm listening to to uh, yeah. music, which right. I am. Yeah. Or an audio book, but I'm not. I'm listening to you. Oh. Um, I am trying the Braggy that we talked about. The Braggy. Same um, idea. Yes, that Jason Howell um, reviewed on this show, but then he said they didn't work that good because he was using an Android phone, and right. that I probably have different features. So, and they will let also let ambient noise right. in if you're running. So, um, I'll have that review. You know what I didn't check is if this if the uh, iOS playthrough mode works with these. I bet it doesn't. I think they're really designed for MFI. Uh, hearing aids specifically uh, be my guess but uh, I didn't check that I, I'm not sure I'd recommend them at this price but I think it's really interesting I think we're gonna see this is just the beginning what I'd like to see this do is something that Jabra Elite Sport does which is measure heart rate vo2 max it seems like nobody's making something that does everything yeah. yet. maybe it's gonna be Apple I don't know I, I think there's something there though those are the new Hera IQ buds these are the boosts, which are $4.99, which give you those additional hearing aid features, or $2.99 for the regular IQ Buds. They are very high-quality, good-sounding headphones, but I'm not sure they're better than uh, the less expensive Jabra Elites and things like that. Mm -hmm.